This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I just received a package of Lockwood goodness from Noctus Modus, that's his YouTube channel in Australia. We have two Lockwood 334B45 padlocks, that's these brass ones on the side, and we have this huge and beautiful Lockwood 270S70 right there in the middle. Finally, up top, he sent me a couple of extra keys. I guess if I want to make some bidding that's a little more extreme on these 334s, and also a larger extra shackle for the 334s. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save this Lockwood for a little bit later, and let's pick both of these 334s open and see what's inside. I'm gonna use, actually, well, 50,000's pry, yeah, 50 thousandths pry bar will fit in there, and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. When picking these locks, depending on the age, they usually have either tapered driver pins or very shallow spools with thin lips. In either case, we're gonna use some pretty stout tension to start with. If it's the tapered pins, we'll keep up that heavy tension all the way through the pick. If it is the spool pins, we'll know it because we'll drop into a false set and that'll be our cue to lessen up a bit. Then we'll use this 25,000 standard hook. Okay, little click out of one, nothing on two. Okay, got a little click out of three, click out of four, click out of five, back to one, click out of one, click out of two, nothing on three, four, click out of five, Nothing on one, two, three, and four, open the lock up. Okay, so probably those tapered pins. Let's do this other one. Okay, and our 50 thousandths pry bar doesn't seem to be fitting. Let's move down to the 40 thousandths. These Lockwood keyways are right on the edge. I've had some that don't take the 50 thousandths pry bar before, but most of them the ones that I found at least do. Okay, we're gonna use the exact same technique on this. I'm assuming it's gonna be tapered pins based on the other lock. Okay, three, got a little click out of him. Click out of four, nothing out of five. Back to one, nothing there. Click out of two, little click out of three, something out of four, click out of five. Nothing on one, two, three, four, and five open the lock up. Okay, so I'm expecting to find tapered pins in here, but let's take these apart and see what's inside. Okay, these Lockwoods should have a Phillips screw right down the shackle hole to take them apart. And to complete taking this core apart, we have two little Phillips screws right in the back. Okay, so we have the back of this lock off. Now let's get the key and a follower, and these should come apart pretty easily. Okay, we can see it's a six pin core with only five pins keyed up. We do have spots for drill protection, but they are not populated. Okay, let's see, let me get my tweezers and arrange these. These do not look like stock Lockwood pins. Usually the tops of the key pins on these older locks will have some beveling on them. And I do not see that. I also see some coloring on these pins, which might indicate they were from a pinning kit. Let's see what these driver pins are. Okay, they, it looks like a standard pin. Same thing in two, three, four, 
and 5. Okay, that's interesting. I have never seen what appears to be standard pins in these in a Lockwood before. Um, now these key pins look like they may have been replaced at some point, so it's possible the entire pinning has been replaced. I actually have some Lockwood pins. Let me pull them out and we'll, we can look at what they might have been. Okay, I have some of the tapered pins here. And I also have some of the Lockwood spools. So when we look at this pinning, we're going to see the actual drivers close at the bottom, close to the key pins. Then we'll see what the tapered driver pins look like, and then the spools on the very top. And those are what we usually find in, the, find in these 334s. I'm also going to take this other one apart just to see what those driver pins are. I'm wondering if it's the same thing in here as well. Okay, we're just going to take the driver pins out so I can see what they are. Okay, definitely looks like we have a repinned core just like the other one. We're going to put the second one in the back and let's see what these driver pins are. I'm just going to dump them over here in slots 7 and 8. Okay, looks like the exact same thing that we found in the other lock. Yep. Okay. Okay, let me give you a zoom in on this. Okay, you can see all of our pins here are standard, both key pins and driver pins. If you look carefully at the key pins, you can see there is still some dye on them, which probably indicates that they came out of a pinning kit where they were color coded. Then we have what appears to be standard pins that actually came in this lock. And if we move up just a bit, you can see what kind of pins normally come in these locks. On the older ones, we have the tapered pins on the bottom, and on, and on the newer locks, we have those shallow spools with thin lips at the very top. Moving over to the cores, nothing particularly special. We can see there are six pin cores. Only five pins were keyed up. We do have places for drill protection up front, but those slots are not populated. Probably fell out somewhere along the way. Clearly, this lock has been open before. Okay, so Noctis, thank you very much for all of these locks. I'm getting some out to you pretty soon. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.